Hey, I'm Bradley Sharp, and this is Thursday Thunder. It is Thursday. There's actually thunder. There was lots of thunder and lightning. I didn't really necessarily believe it until I experienced it myself. <laughs> this week, we're in part two of the series, the three-part series, Accept, Believe, and Surrender. This week is Believe. Last week, we accepted. We accepted that this is where you are in your life right now. It's a huge step. That's a big deal to say, okay, this is where I am, for better, for worse. I'm right here. Okay, we can move on. Second part of acceptance was accepting that there is some higher power, some greater self, whatever you want to label that as, a God, a spirit, a universe, a source, energy, a uh, whatever your terms are for it. It is that higher level, that higher existence beyond our physical selves, and that is part of you, it is you, you are a part of it, however you want to see it. This week, we're going from acceptance to believing. It's a big jump. Accept, we can say, for example, I accept that it's possible. I accept that it's possible it rains today. Guess what? It's raining. However, to get from accepting to believing, there needs to be one critical element. And that element is exactly right here. If you could see them landing on my hand, then I am experiencing the rain. It's raining right now. So although I accepted that it's possible, I now believe it's happening because I am directly experiencing it myself. I can tell you all day about riding a bike, I can explain and describe what it's like to taste an avocado, but you're not really going to get on the bike very well. You're not going to learn how to really ride a bike. You're not going to really know what an avocado tastes like until you get on the bike yourself, until you taste the avocado yourself. So on to bigger items than bicycles and avocados, the larger sense of self. How are we going to get from accepting that there is a, a higher power of some kind to believing it. And this is where like the good news is and the bad news is together all combined into one, it's through experience. So how are we gonna get there? What are the steps? The steps are well, asking, daring, asking who you are, what you believe, what you wanna believe, daring to believe it, creating. I think that through experiencing, through getting out, letting out what we have inside of us, rises, elevates us up to that higher level where we are getting closer to that external power, that higher level. So the big whammy, the big secret from experiencing this higher self, in my humble opinion, is through meditation. So because I think meditation, I talk a lot about radio dials, how you're and you have that connection. With old fashioned radio dial, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the connection, it's the number 89.3, yet with the dial, you had to fiddle with it to get it to the right spot, you got it. Only when you, at some point, experience this yourself, usually, in my opinion, again, through meditation, are you going to reach that clarity, that focus, that level where you rise up, you get the download, you get the messages, you have even conversations, however it may work for you. You are, in my opinion, again, not necessarily going to believe that there is something higher, there is something greater until you experience it yourself. This is the good news and the bad news. I say it's the bad news because if you're somebody who says, well, can I just like watch another video? Bradley, can't you do another video and explain and convince me that I will believe? I could try, but I think I'm gonna be trying here all day because until you get on the bike, until you take a bite of the avocado, you're not going to know it for yourself. And knowing is then believing. Believing is then seeing it for yourself. Seeing is believing. Believing is seeing. When you see it for yourself, when you feel it for yourself, something happens in your meditation where you get that message, you have that clarity, you get the new idea, you have a breakthrough of some kind. You need to experience this on your own. You can watch case studies, testimonials, love letters until kingdom come. But until you have a the tiniest flicker, just like 
when the dam, there's a huge dam, and until there's a trickle of water that is broken through, you're not going to believe that there's even water behind it. Yet the trickle comes through, and all you need is that one little trickle, that one tiny, tiny little element of belief, of experience, of your own experience before you get to the point where you believe. <laughs> I sound like either a Disney movie or like a preacher. I'm probably something of both. I mean, Disney has lots of sparkly and magical and Tinkerbell. In fact, I remember one of my favorite elements of when someone was asking, you know, what is it to be, what is this spirit and what, what does it come in the form of and how will I know? And they said, well, it could be a deer in the woods. It could be Tinkerbell. It could be a angel. It could be an avocado. <laughs> it's up to you. It's your own world. It's your connection. It's your radio dial. And it's your first beginning with acceptance that there is such a higher power and th through experience to believe that there is. It's a big jump. I get it. This is not easy stuff we're dealing with. However, once you get there, you'll look back and say, well, that was easy. <laughs> That's good. That's fun. That's the fun part. But to get from accepting to believing requires doing, requires experiencing it on your own to get there. Okay? Next week, we have surrender. Surrender is another monstrous leap into the, into the, the unknown, into the faith. And next week, week three of this middle three-part miniseries, we'll get to surrender because that is really the fun stuff. That is really the playful world, the playground where we're going to take the acceptance and the belief and then put it on rocket fuel and go out there. Okay. I'm Bradley Shovin and this is Thursday Thunder. We got thunder in the air for real this week. And uh, I'm here every week. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.